According to Viktor Frankl, a Holocaust survivor and psychologist, there are three ways to find meaning in your life. The first is by creating a work or doing a deed. The second is by experiencing something like goodness, truth, or beauty, or encountering something, in essence, through love. And the third way of finding meaning in life is surprisingly through suffering. When a man finds that it is his destiny to suffer, he will have to accept his suffering as his task, his single and unique task. He will have to acknowledge the fact that even in suffering, he is unique and alone in the universe. No one can relieve him of his suffering or suffer in his place. His unique opportunity lies in the way in which he bears his burden. We can learn so much about ourselves through suffering, in whatever form it takes. Think of yourself as a wrestler whom God, like a trainer, has paired with a tough young buck. For what purpose? To turn you into Olympic class material. Suffering ceases to be suffering at the moment it finds a meaning. Once you recognize that it is an opportunity for transcendence or improvement, meaning can be found in bearing it gracefully. There are situations in life where one is cut off from the opportunity to do one's work or to enjoy one's life. But what can never be ruled out is the unavoidability of suffering. In accepting this challenge to suffer bravely, life has a meaning up to the last moment, and it retains this meaning literally to the end. This is coming from a man who once stopped himself from waking up a bunkmate that was having a nightmare as he realized that the world he was waking up to was worse than that of anything in the dream realm. Viktor Frankl knew suffering, and he found meaning in it. And for those who don't find any suffering in their lives, Seneca says that you're unfortunate. You have passed through life without an opponent. No one can ever know what you're capable of, not even you. 